So before solving this problem, let's see some similarities between linear and torsional SHM. So we are familiar with the linear SHM. So one way we can represent it is let's attach a spring so that if we dis displace the mass by x distance, then the restoring force is kx. And let's say the body is moving with the velocity v. So for this, let's write the familiar equations and then we can see the analogous equations in torsional SHM. So there, here it's moved by distance x is in torsional SHM, let's say this is the mean position and the body is rotated by an angle theta dash. So theta dash is analogous to x. Restoring force kx is analogous to restoring torque c theta dash where c is a constant. And if it, this body has a velocity v, the analogous here is the angular velocity of the body omega dash. So we are using the terms dash here so that we don't get confused between omega and omega dash. So omega is for the SHM itself. So omega is a fixed quantity where omega dash is of the body. So that changes with time. So at the extreme, omega dash will be zero. At mean position, omega dash will assume its maximum value. Whereas omega is the angular frequency of the SHM, which is a constant. So that's why I've used the dash everywhere. Now let's quickly see the equations of linear SHM and then we will see the equivalent equations in torsional SHM. So restoring force is kx, so f can be written as minus kx because we are taking right side as positive, so force will be minus kx. Acceleration will be f by m, so that will be minus k by m into x. Now this quantity k by m is omega square, where omega is of the Omega is angular frequency of SHM. So this implies time period is 2 pi root m by k. Now velocity when it is at a distance x can be written as omega root a square minus x square. Potential energy is minus of integral of f internal dot dx. So f internal you can see because it is in the opposite direction that is minus fx. So this becomes minus and f is of course kx. Sorry, <laughs> I meant the f internal is minus kx. So this becomes minus kx dx. So minus minus will become positive. So this becomes kx dx. And when you integrate, so potential energy from as it, if we take the assumed of potential energy zero at mean, so potential energy becomes half kx square. And energy of oscillation will be at the extreme, therefore, so maximum potential energy when x is maximum, that is amplitude, so this becomes half Ka square is equal to kinetic energy at the equilibrium, that is half m v naught square. And v naught is omega A. Now let's see equivalent equations here. So f is equal to minus kx, but here torque is equal to minus c theta dash. So theta dash is the angle turned by the body. So torque can be written as i alpha, so that gives alpha is equal to c by i theta dash, which gives time period is equal to 2 pi root i by c. Omega dash, when it's turned by an angle theta dash, is given as omega into root theta naught dash square. So that is the maximum amplitude of the angle. Square of that minus theta dash square. Potential energy is equal to minus integral of tau internal dot d theta dash. So torque internal, so it's in opposite direction, we are taking this direction for theta dash and omega dash as positive. So internal torque will be minus c theta dash. So torque internal will be minus c theta dash, minus and minus will become positive. So this becomes c theta dash d theta dash. So again, we, if we assume the potential energy at mean to be zero, the potential energy of the body when it's turned by an angle theta dash will be half c theta dash square. Energy of the oscillation will be when theta dash is maximum. So that becomes half c theta naught dash square is equal to kinetic energy of the body at equilibrium, which is half i omega at equilibrium whole square. So that's why omega naught dash square. And omega naught dash can be written as omega into theta naught dash. So just 
look at the analogous situations and you'll get a good grip of it and then proceed to the problem. So let's see the problem now. We are given a disk whose torsional coefficient is given to us as C. Initially, it's turned by an angle phi naught and then it's given a further angular velocity phi naught dot. We need to find the amplitude and the energy of the oscillations. So let's write the formula for at a general angle theta, what will be the angular velocity of a any any body that's performing torsional SHM. So our formula is omega dash is equal to omega root of theta naught square minus theta square. So this is the maximum angle the body has turned. This is the angle at which the body is and this is the angular velocity of the body when it is at this angle. So this is the general formula but in with the variables that are given in the problem omega dash is phi naught dot omega is root c by i where c is given in the problem and i is mr square by 2 for the disk. Theta naught is what we need to find that is phi naught max and theta is given to us as phi naught. So let's just put those values and you will get phi naught max to be this. So this is the amplitude. Then energy of oscillation will be half c theta naught max square. So if you put the value of theta naught max here, that will be our answer.